Well, hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and I'm on my GoPro, and I'm in my garage, and look at, I made a bit of a mess right here. Well, I I have a roll of filament that I put on my Ultimaker, but it didn't fit on the Ultimaker spool holder, so it was binding, and it wasn't going up the Bowden tube very well. I figured this was a good opportunity to put some of my maker skills to use and build a filament holder out of some scrap wood and a bolt that I had, so, uh, uh, there we go. Let's do it. Are you ready? Go. Ah, welcome back. All right, you you got to get some scrap wood. I found this wood on the floor, and it's going to come in really handy. First, I'm going to find out where I need to drill some holes. So I'm going to mark the center. I used a tape measure to find the center. It's around 10 inches long, and I put it at the 5-inch mark. I'm gonna drill holes in two of them because they're gonna be the base. They're gonna be the feet. Watch this, I'm gonna use a drill. I'm gonna drill through. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't wanna drill through my table. So I'm gonna put a piece of wood under the pieces of wood I wanna drill through. And then, and then I'm gonna drill. And there it goes. Smooth as butter. Let's make another one. Ah, perfect. Perfect, my table is safe. And now I have two pieces of wood, each with two holes in them. Now I need to put in the the tall pieces that are gonna hold the filament on the bolt. And for this one, I need to get out my screws. I'm gonna preload the holes, just like that. They're gonna stick out just a little bit so that when I put these together, and I use my hands like clamps, I can just screw the screws right in, apparently. Wait, wait, oh, oh crap, crap, okay, good. Phew, okay, now that that one's in, this one should go in just fine. Awesome. All right, get the other piece of wood out, and of course I'm gonna preload those holes as well. I find that uh, doing this makes it easier to get the screws into the wood. Uh, I'm gonna line them up, of course. And once lined up, I'm gonna use my hands like vice grips and screw the screws into the wood. There's the first one. There's the second one. Um, oh, oh crap. Boy, I suck. All right, let's back these out. So don't forget when you need to put screws into wood like this and you you're gonna split it along the grain. You should line it up and then you should pre-drill the holes. That's a smaller bit than what the circumference or the diameter of the screws is. So there we go. Now I can put it back in the holes. I can screw in the screws and then we're good to go. Okay, so far I've only messed up once. That's not too bad. And I'm not even bleeding. That's actually a plus. Usually by this time I'm bleeding. Hey, look, they sit fine on that table. There's that bolt, and so I need to make a hole in both, and the bolt can feed through that hole, and then the filament can rest on the bolt. I've got me a giant drill bit, and oh, I don't want to put a hole in my table, so I'm gonna put some wood underneath the pieces of wood I want to drill a hole into. Here we go, drill it down. That is a big bit, that is a big, big bit. Okay, I'm gonna, Oh wait, I know I get down a little bit here. Now, I just wanna make sure I get through. And oh, 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 I put a hole in my table. Ah, crap. Okay, so I've messed up twice. Nah, don't worry. I've got duct tape, that's what that's for. All right, I put the bolt through, and it fits. Hot diggity dog. Look at that. Yeah, thumbs up. Here we are at the back of the old tea maker, and if you, look, this is that spool, and it just kind of binds uh, if you look right here, the Ultimaker spools holder works by having these clips right here. And these clips are supposed to clip onto either side of the spool, but but the spool itself, the, the width of it here is just too long. Those clips don't engage and it binds on those clips. So this was a good opportunity for me to make something. Okay, here's my, my really quickly made spool holder. I'm gonna put it right here. I've got the other side here. All right, all right, that's it. The spool will move freely 
this bolt isn't going to go anywhere. It's supported well. And um, wow, I'm actually impressed with that. I can run bigger spools. I can run smaller spools. This is great because now I can run Tallman spools. Their spools are tiny and won't fit on this thing. Hey, there we go. Okay. Um, I know this video is a little bit different, but that was kind of fun. Uh, I got a garage full of stuff. I love to make stuff, and this was just an excuse to make something. Sure, I put a hole in my table, but it's in the garage, a little bit of duct tape, and that'll fix it. Hey, guys, until next time, as always, high five!